Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Emerging Franchise Brands Podcast. I'm your host, Frank Fumi, here live at the IFA 2024 National Convention and looking forward to interviewing some folks uh, at this year's event. I have the founder and CEO of Delightree. I have Tashar Mishra. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Tashar, we got a lot to talk about here. Absolutely. So, I just want to say <laughs> I love franchising. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Absolutely love it. You, you guys have really, uh, you guys have really taken to it. Yes. <laughs> uh, they've got Anthony. Maybe you can spin it around and take a look at their booth. So. They have really embraced franchising a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. So, all right, Tashar, with all seriousness, kind of, yeah. tell me what is Delight Tree? Like, what do you guys do other than you effing love franchising? So, we're about two years old. We're trying to build really usable franchisee tech. Mm -hmm. Before we came into this industry, so I'm brand new in franchising, been here for two years. Before this, I had a software company, sold that, started this. Most of my previous customers were franchisees as well. Um, and what we noticed was that franchisors were buying a lot of tech, but nobody was actually using it. So we met so many people who would buy an LMS, and then for the first six months, they just try to build it out, they do the onboarding. For the next six months, they roll it out, people hate it, and then it's done, right? So we just wanted to build tech which your team would actually use. Mm -hmm. So we build everything from location launcher, how we can help you launch new locations, to how you can share information with your employees and your owners, so in form of training, in form of SOPs, in form of documentation, marketing campaigns, communication, finally to do audits and inspection across location, right? All of it in a nice, tasteful way, which your team would actually like to use and will use. So you don't pay us if nobody uses it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So this is your first IFA, right? This, this is my first this IFA, first? yes. What do you think so far? It's amazing. I mean, I am. I we came here to learn. That's why you won't see our name out there. We just wanted to talk to as many people as possible, and I think we accomplished that with the little branding that we have going. Um, and I'm learning a lot. It's. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. I wish it was for a few more days, and I could learn more. But it's amazing to meet all the people who've been here for 20, 25 years and learn from them and share my perspective with them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm already looking forward to the next one. So uh, yeah. yeah. And, as you probably noticed, I mean, the IFA uh, is sort of generous community yeah. that we're all willing to share our you know, secrets and how we do business. And uh, at the end of the day, this is all about you know, growing and sharing together. And um, I'm looking forward for you to be part of this community now. Absolutely. I'm, I'm extremely excited. And like you said, I'm thankful to everybody who has shared things with us, who is like, supported us or tried to help us. I mean, we were extremely grateful. Um, and um, I hope you check us out at delightly.com. Nice. All right, Tashar, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning into the Emerging Franchise Brands Podcast. For additional insights, guest applications, and to stay connected, visit us at efbpodcast.com. The Emerging Franchise Brands Podcast is for entertainment purposes only, and the views expressed do not necessarily represent those of Emerging Franchise Brands, its host Frank Fumi, or Emerging Franchise Group, LLC. Any discussed franchise or investment opportunity requires thorough investigation, obtaining proper disclosure documents, and expert consultation before making any investment decisions. The podcast and its host do not offer professional advice or endorsements, and they hold no responsibility for actions, representations, accuracy, or consequential damages related to the podcast content.